Hello guys and welcome to another video. If you are like the rest of this population on earth, not a subscriber to me, you perhaps have not seen my previous video of the review of this book by Jules Verne. Um, I've got like six books since then from this same series. Um, Edgar Allan Poe, for example, Hemingway, the Grimm's Fairy Tales, I think they're called, and uh, of course, the book in the title of this video, which is Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So let's remove this one out of the, put this out of the way, and bring. Oh, that does hurt. And bring my Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Give you more of an aerial view. This is how it looks. It's a quite a good looking book, to be honest. That's why it cost one five bucks, you know. You want to have a good book for that price, it's quite expensive. Uh, in Sweden, I have to pay shipping and, you know, those things. So it added up to like 35 bucks as well, so damn, this, this is an expensive book. I could have gotten a fully sided book for this price, but for all the books that are in this book, oh my goodness, I have to practice my English. But all, there, it is a whole series in one freaking book, so I thought that was worth it. The typing is really good, if you compare it to Hulvan. It's so, so small. You know, compared to this is Bleak House by Dickens. I can open the same, both at the same time. I'll try at least. There you go. The pages are actually quite gel though. I haven't experienced that previously with other Barnes & Noble editions. Or it is that the Penguin uh, novels are just very white. I don't know. Uh, but they have a bit of a yellowish tint to them. Anyway, the front look like this. The uh, pages look like this. The back. Line. And um, yeah, I wanted to show the pages, but you haven't seen this one yet. It's the bookmark for this particular novel. It's like um, some sort of a. It's purple, I'd say. Can I get focus, please? There we go. I think I'd say purple. Yeah. Well. Um, the reason why this costs five bucks more than Hulverne's novel is I don't really know, to be honest. I Perhaps it is these, they are a bit more, every chapter are a bit more special than the other. And sometimes they contain yeah, just a few illustrations. But to be honest, Grim Fairy Tales are actually more illustrated with color as well. I don't really know why they are more expensive, why this book is more expensive. Perhaps. You guys know, and uh, uh, let me know, basically. Uh, yeah, the size comparison, sorry. The size comparison, if we have... Hulverno, wow. I need to go to the gym if I find this hard to lift. Uh, there we go. It's a lot bigger, you know. This is still a big novel, I think it's like 800 pages or something, 900. This is Bleak House, as you see. And this is just, this is a brilliant book, first of all, but this is a pocket staple up against it. So it is large, it is really, really large. And uh, this is Virginia Woolf, Room of One's Own. It is a big book, but uh, what, you're, what you're gonna expect? Well, uh, thank you for this review, it's a bit... Uh, it dragged down for a while, I'm sorry about that, but if you're interested in uh, any other review of any other books, I should say, I'll show you my fully side editions, sorry, my Barnes & Noble editions right now. These are the ones that I have, I think I have another one lying around somewhere. Yeah, I don't know, but these are the ones. Uh, Shakespeare, we've got Edgar Allan Poe, 
Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales and uh, Ernest Hemingway four novels. Or if you want to see my fully sight editions, I have The Outsider, uh, Brody Karamazov, one of the best books ever made, written, by the way. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Slaughterhouse Five, also a brilliant book. Dracula, Lord of the Flies, a beautiful book. A War and Peace, haven't read this yet. Uh, Anna Karenina, Miss Map, I don't know what it is. I bought this. Uh, Folio Society Mystery Parcel, and I got this one in it, so. Got the Epic of Gilgamesh, really cool book as well. Relativity by Einstein. Earth and Infinite, this is a beautiful book. Which I also got in this Mystery Parcel, and this one I got in a Mystery Parcel as well. Children's Bible Stories, really beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, or the uh, Penguin Cloth Bound Classics. Or behind here we got Tintin, Tinta. Or how, how you want to pronounce it. Uh, well, I thank you for... Thanks for the fish, basically. Have a nice day.